tap the people if you want to do that is search bar to your tap the dashboard imagine this you have created a beautiful sales dashboard but when you want to find a data for a specific product it takes forever to scroll through all those rows wouldn't be great if you could just search for the product with a simple query well today i'm going to show you how to create a powerful search bar in tap that let you search and filter your data in a snap so let's dive in and make your data set more interactive and user friendly Hi, I am Anj from Knowhow Academy. So, in this video, we're going to see what is the need of search bar, and we will also see creating a parameter for search input. We will create a calculated field for filtering, and we will add a search bar to our data set. Then we will test and demonstrate of our search bar. Before we get started, let me show you why our search bar is so beautiful. Imagine you are analyzing product sales data, and your dashboard has hundreds of product listed. find a specific product you might have to manually scroll through a long list which can be time consuming but what if there was a quick way to jump straight to the product you are interested in with just a few clicks we can create a search bar that allow users to quickly find and filter their data whether it's product customers or even dates this search bar makes your dashboard interactive and efficient try to learn how to do it let's break it down step by step For step one, you need to first make step make sure that your data is clear. For that, I'm going to use super store data set. That include, uh, I let me show you that uh, that include uh, product names, okay, row ID, region, sales, sub categories, and similarly category data. For that, if you have a similar data set, that's great. If not, you can use any data set with category like field to apply the same technique. Secondly, now. Let's set up the actual search bar. We are going to create a parameter which will allow us to input a search query. A parameter is like a variable in Tableau. It can be set to different values and will use it to control our search bar. For that, we need to right click on our data pane and create a parameter. I'm going to name it as search product. Search product So we gonna search by the data type as the string. So I'm gonna make the data type string. It's already there. So for that, now we need to set the data type. We already set it. Since we are searching for product, choosing string for allowable values. Select all so that we can search bar can accept any types input. In allowable values, select all and click on OK. So as our parameter is been searched and it been created. Now. You will see that we have created our parameter called search product, and it's ready to receive search query. Next up, we need to create a calculated field that will filter the data based on what you type into the search bar. This calculated field will compare the product names to the values entered in the parameter and only show matching results for. For that, we let me create a calculated field. Right click on data pane, create calculated field. Name it as as we are searching for the product, so name it as product search filter. Okay, product search filter. Now we need to make sure to put the formula so able to parameter able to get it what do they need to search for it. So formula will compare parameter value with the product names in our data set basically. So the formula is contains product names. Okay, we need to compare by search by product with search products and apply it so as you can see our this table or region way of product search field has been created here this formula check if the product name contains the text entered in the search parameter if it does the data will show if not it won't it's that simple for you now just move your product name to the rows and uh, go to search parameter click show parameter take your product search filter to the filter and make it okay and go to product filter and show and click on true so it will show you the true values regarding that it will help you to find the correct the exact pro product name you are searching it for when you apply this filter it ensure that only the product that match the search term has been display on it okay Okay, true. Okay, now let me make it wider for you. Hmm, I make it wider. Let me make the search products names wider so able to get it. 
so they are difference of hundreds of products ne now i want to know whether about rico product okay let's test about it if you have a data set that have laptop or similar like easy term you can search dog out on the laptop here or something like that i had kind of echo so i search it echo so see there are i guess more than 20 plus datas of product name that has been echo in there and it been showing if i need a particular echo so let me write it like echo three hole punch see i guess it's been tested well from that i get see like quickly it find out the which the particular product name i am is for searching for whether you are searching for a product or a specific category the search bar help you find exactly what you need in second and there you have you have now add a fully functionally search bar to your tableau data set it's simple to set up super useful and add a lot of interactivity for your user imagine how this feature can make your reports even more dynamic and user friendly so let me tell you what we have learned in this video we have understand the need for a search bar we also create a parameter for search input we also build a calculated field for filtering we also see integrating the search bar into our data set then we will see that how we test the demonstrated of the search bar thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we always here to help you and navigate you to the world